Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm back again with another recycle video. Um, I purchased, I forgot what I purchased in this, but the plastic to me feels like it will hold up to the UV resin and the UV resin light. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna see how this picture, this is of my youngest grandbaby. I, I don't know where, I got that little spot. I don't know where that came from, but it'll be fine. Um, this is of my youngest grandbaby, so I want to put it in here because I want to preserve it. I don't know how it's going to react with the UV resin. I, I have not um, put any coating or anything on it because I do have this picture and I printed it out myself. So I just want to see how it's going to react with it since it is UV resin and it doesn't have to take um, like two or three days to cure and it's not going to stay tacky for that long once I do cure it. So... It's a learning process. I mean, okay. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, and with this mold, I might have to do some sanding. I'm not for sure, but I don't know if you can see, but somehow, some way, they got dented a little bit. I tried to straighten it out a little bit. It didn't work, but that's okay because, um, you know, the little imperfections can always be fixed. So I'm going to start out by using, um, by coating the bottom with the UV resin. Okay, so it's spread, but I'm going to use the lighter real quick on it. So now I'm going to place her picture face down in here because, you know, of course, the picture I want. Because the, it's just because when you do these type of molds, um, there is a lip that forms on the back of it. Okay, so now I'm going to lay the picture down. I'm going to lay it down slowly. But as I'm putting it down, I'm pressing it down to try not to get no air bubbles. In it. Try not to get no air caught in between it. All right, let's kind of... I don't know if you all gonna be able to see. I see a bubble. You can see, but the bubble is on this side. There it goes. You see, I don't know if you see the bubble that came up and I'm gonna use the little uh, wand thing to pop it instead of the um, lighter. Let me look under it again. Okay, I don't see any more bubbles. So let me take this little, I call it, it's not a wand, it's a little spoon. Let me go ahead and press the picture down because I'm going to go ahead and cure this first because I, like I said, I don't know how this UV resin is going to react. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can quickly flip it up. Let me, I'm going to try to hold it and flip it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but now I need to put the picture where I want the picture at, and I need to make sure it's in the center. Use gloves. If you are not um, used to doing using resin products or doing anything, please use gloves and use a mask. Okay. So now I have that down where it looks good. Where is that? And now I'm going to cure it. Okay, I'm back. And uh, the picture, hmm, it's, some, it's shifted. Like the picture shifted. Like it's lifting. I don't know what it's doing. Um, I think what I should have did that I didn't do is put more resin around here because um i don't know if you can see that it's warp warping i think that's how you said warping up right here but it doesn't look like it has affected the front of the picture so once i cure it you know fully cure it, it should be but yeah the picture shifted 
I had the picture where I wanted it. Like I did have it where I wanted it and it shifted over to the corner. I'm adding more UV resin to the back of the picture. Okay, and that's enough right now. Um, at this point, let me just make sure everything has resin on it. And I'm gonna use the lighter quickly. Like when I'm in the middle parts, it doesn't matter, but just not too close to the edges. Okay, so now I have uh, this glitter I got from Walmart sparkle with sprinkle and sparkles i'm gonna put this as the background and i'm gonna okay let me take the stick and well i'm sorry the spoon and go around it to make sure uh, most of them are in the, like have the resin that's coated with the resin Okay, and now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this um, I Can't even see the name this reflections glitter on it. I can't even see the name of the glitter Okay, I'm gonna cure it and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and it has cured. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over because I wanna see what the front looks like. Okay, the picture still is holding up. The picture's holding up very well so far. Um, but I know that the next time I'm gonna do it differently um, I'll have less resin and I'll make sure the picture is all the way down in there and covered because this little part right here. Okay, so it's still in the mold, but what I'm going to do with this mold is going to be a process because I want this and I had it, I got it kind of, see, I don't know if you can see from the side how it's going to be kind of thick. See how thick it is? But I want it that way because I'm going to, like this part right here, I'm going to pour resin down on here. Not in this. Not inside this part. But in this part right here. And I'm going to keep building it up because I want it to be like a stand. So when it sits, it'll sit like this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get started on this. And um, when I'm finished... Well, I'll show, I'll show you what I'm going to do first, and then um, when I'm finished, I'll be back because I don't want you, you all to have to uh, sit through this process. So I'm just pouring resin down on here like this and getting it close to the edge, like here, the edge right here as possible. Okay, so now when I put it in under the light, I'm going to tilt it back towards myself some more. So it will have a, you know, a layer right there. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm about to demold this because I want you all to see what I was talking about. I see I have a little cleaning up to do, but that's fine. So here we go with demolding. The top is coming fine, but like I said, the bottom is still kind of warm. So I might have a little troubles with that. I might have to come back. Let me see if I can get this. I should have took those staples out, but I didn't. Okay, here it comes. I think it's, 
sister. But I should have waited and see, that's the thing. Always wait till it cools down. I'm an impatient person. I'm sorry. I'm very impatient. Okay, so this is what, I don't know if you can see what I was talking about. But here on the back, I was tilting it up. See, it's still kind of warm. So that's why I'm able to bend it. I was tilt. I don't know if you've seen when, okay, I was, I had it in here. And I was kind of tilting it up because I wanted to put this lip right here. I don't, you can see it now. It's a lip on it. So I'm going to cut this part right here off because I don't need that part on it. I'm going to have to file it down later. But I just want to show y'all this real quick. When it's warm, you can cut it real good. So let me see if that's going to work. Okay, so the reason I created that lip is because I want it to sit, the picture to be able to sit up like this. But see, I still, I need to sand this part down right here because this right here is pushing up. That's why the picture is not sitting. Okay, I'm back and I decided to change a few things up. I found this. And I'm like, hmm, I can do something with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my granddaughter's picture down here and I'm gonna put some, um, just a thin layer of the UV resin on here. I wanna make sure it's straight and cure this to that. Once I put the UV resin and cure it, and then I have these little, I don't know, let me show you. I don't know all my, it don't look focused. And I have these little letters uh, that spells her name out that I'm going to put um, on there. So let me figure out what's wrong with my camera and I'll be right back once I do that. Okay, I try to figure out what's going on with this camera. I don't know. So we're just going to go with it. So like I said, I found this other plastic. Um, I'm going to call it a mold. And I'm going to sit her picture uh, I think I need to coat the back of her picture first. Yeah, let me do that first, and I'll be right back. So here's the mold. I already pulled, poured some UV resin down in it, but I have not cured it. And here's her picture. And I did um, put UV resin on the back of it. Um, it should sit straight up. And I'm trying to place it to where... I can put her um, name on here also and probably I'm gonna put her name to the to this side and then I'm gonna put uh, something else on the other side so I have to hold this to cure it because I don't want to let it go so I'm gonna set this up make sure this is steady Make sure her picture is straight. Okay, I'm going to cure it and I'll be right back. And I'm just going to use some of this as glue. So I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth with the um, process of curing it. Okay, so I have finished this piece so far. So I want to, I'm going to need to bring you all down some so you all can see. Um, but first, I'm going to pop it out the mold. It's still a little warm, so I might have a little struggle. I'm just gonna have to, I know what this is, so I'm just gonna, this is just gonna have to be cut. I get out the mold and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I've, I have it out the mold, so I'm gonna see if I can bring you all down some. 
um, so I can show you. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I've had so many problems. I was trying to fix and adjust. Okay, so this is the final piece. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's a glare on it. The picture is fine. Um, when I pull, put this down in the, the mold, I think what I did was I pulled it too close to the front. So it has a little piece here. But I'm going to have to pour some resin down. It. Let me do it now while I'm talking to you all. I'm going to have to put some resin down here anyway because of, this one has a lip also. So I just need to fill that lip up. Okay, y'all, so here's the finished results of the um, <laughs> my granddaughter's picture that I basically, I'm going to call it in a frame on a little stand. So I did, I used uh, recycled plastic for this. And I showed you all the plastic that I did use for this, but this is the final product. Her name is Isla. So I just took the little letters and put the Isla right here. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna put something on this side, I'm not for sure yet, but I think it's got, you know, like a little flower or something. But then that's, I don't know if you can see the top of it. And let me show you the back side of it. And here's the back side of it. I didn't put anything here because you're not, you know, you can't see that from the front. Um, but I did put stuff over here in her name. So I'm going to have this sitting on top of my uh, cabinet thing where I have some of my china at. But like I said, with this little lip right here on the front, that came when I put it in the second, this mold right here. I pulled this. I had the UV resin in it, and when I pulled the picture, I pulled the picture too close to the front. That's why it has that lip. The next one I, that I do, I'm not gonna pull like that. So, um, you'll you know you'll be able to see it. No, you'll be able to see it. So, and I poured the UV resin in here so it wouldn't have a lip on it, and then I decided to add the same uh, glitter that's in here here. So, there's my final project. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next video.